All right, yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and this is just another quick video to let you guys know that the next daily alpha Pokemon is out, and it is Meowth, as you can see to the left of my screen here. So here I am in Route 8 in Kanto. Now, I don't know the other locations in other regions yet. I've really just been covering the Kanto locations. Uh, maybe I'll do a full recap at some point, but I'm going to go ahead and do this Meowth encounter. Now, people have been saying that... I, so I thought that um, the way alphas would work is that after that day, they would sort of... Um, leave like it was only available for that day and they would not be available anymore and you had to be like it was like a daily login sort of thing but that might not actually be the case i've heard reports of people saying that uh pikachu is still available and clefairy is still available you guys can let me know in the comments down below like if that is true or not um i obviously i just can't check that since like since i caught them as alpha pokemon and i don't really have any alt accounts to go i've caught them all on alt accounts as well so i don't have a way to go fact check that sort of thing but so if you guys have had an experience of like hey like uh if you can go still catch the pikachu or if you can still go catch um clefairy let me know that'd be really, really helpful information to know as a community you know as a pokemon community Whenever events like this come out, the devs purposefully don't tell us all the information because they want us to discover it ourselves. And I think it is a really, really interesting thing, and it really like adds um, a whole new element to you know. It's it's not like um, I feel like there's always guides for everything nowadays in video games, right? Like Pokemon, the guides are constantly forming, and we're constantly trying to discover things still. Uh, and I think it really comes through community effort. Now, this has been an extremely easy uh, encounter so far. This Meowth, like if you, if you guys watched my Clefairy video, you might have seen that it was a, uh, a very difficult encounter. <laughs> that Clefairy really roughed me up. Stored power was a really powerful thing to have. Um, but yeah, this is going quite well. I'm going to go ahead and pop up a timer ball. Uh, I've been in this battle for a decent amount of time. So I believe I didn't really count turns. I think this is going to be better than a third repeat ball, but I didn't count turns. Hopefully we catch it pretty quickly. Now, there's absolutely no way that I catch a, uh, there's no way that I catch a third two times 31 alpha Pokemon in a row, right? Uh, highly, highly doubt it, but you know what? We'll see. Hopefully you guys have been having some good alpha Pokemon catches. Let me know in the comments down below what's the best alpha Pokemon catch that you have gotten or maybe you've seen. Uh, someone in the comments was talking about how their friend caught a 4x31 alpha Pokemon. Now that is wildly impressive. That is that is very, very, very impressive uh, if true. That is very, very cool. I'm going to go ahead and throw up this Spore here since he woke back up. He swaggered me, which is a little scary. Uh, if I miss and hit myself, I could do a ton of damage as well as just elongate the battle. Hopefully, I should be able to catch it soon. Timer balls are really, really good now. Now that they've been buffed uh, a decent extent, it's really interesting to see them really uh, really become so useful. It's They might even, like, they really have become really useful in a lot of ways compared to uh, repeat balls just being the best ball uh, indefinitely, right? I think it's really cool to see this sort of meta change, mechanic change, especially since timer balls are so cheap, being only 900 Poke Yen a piece. I really, at some point, I want to do say, some uh, some testing with uh, with timer balls. That was a lot of damage, as you can see. I want to do some testing. Oh, he's going for a taunt. Is he faster than me now? That's brutal. So he's actually dodging my spore here. Wow. That's actually pretty brutal. So I'm not even going to be able to use spore after taunt. Yeah, so this fight is getting pretty difficult due to uh, the RNG, but that, I mean, there's not much you can do about that. That's totally okay. So what I'm going to do here, is there any reason to... I mean, I guess I switch out to reset the taunt. But then if he attacked me anyway, I'm dead because I'm so low HP. This is going to be tough. I don't think I'm going to be able to outspeed him. I don't have a Cottony to Tailwind to raise the speed of my party. Having a Cottony for that purpose, for this battle, would have been really useful. I think my best bet here is just going to go to Breloom and Spore, but the issue is he's going to outspeed and he'll probably just attack and kill me anyway. So that makes this fight become really, really scary. Uh, I think at this point I'm just stalling turns and I'm just going to throw timer balls with him unspored. Do I have any way to... I wonder if I have any way to status him. I don't think so. Pretty brutal. That's pretty crazy. Once again, a second alpha Pokemon took out my Breloom, but it looks like... There we go. If you stall enough turns, the timer ball effect really does become really, really powerful. And there we go. Re relax Meowth. We still get a 1 times 31 which is very, very good. Like, I'm super happy with that. So, wow. Getting two 2 times 31s back-to-back into a 1 times 31 Definitely having some good luck on these alpha catches. I had some really bad luck on my starter alpha Pokemon catches when defeating Red. 
Uh, I traded my Togekiss Chansey Blissey team over to multiple different alt accounts, defeated him many, many times, and never, never saw a uh, one times 31. So I think my RNG is has, you know, very much come around with these. So super happy to see that. Good luck to your guys' catch. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and subscribe for more Pokemon content. I'll see you guys later.